Hey, this is David B69, and welcome to MLB The Show 23 Franchise Mode. The Phillies are going to be playing the Rockies this weekend, and uh, we're not having a bad time. We're just, we had a really rough stretch where we lost a couple games to those stinking Blue Jays. Um, man, I just hate everybody in the American League East. I mean, there's just not one team that I actually like in the American League East. And it's actually, the, one of the coolest things is we got to play every single team in the league. Um, so as much as I don't, like, like those teams in that East, I'm just happy that I actually have to play them this year. It is actually, like, really, really cool. Um, annoying that we lost, but really cool that we have to play everybody. And it's just, like, it's just a lot of fun. And I think I do have, we do have more games against Toronto coming up. Um, it's, like, the one team in the American League East that we have to play twice, I think. Um, I think we played, yeah, here we go. In August, we have two games in Toronto. So that's like the one team. That's why it was only a two-game series. That is the one team that we actually play in two series. Um, I believe every team, like I believe the Mets and Yankees will will basically have two and two. And I think it's Boston and the Braves and Tampa and Miami. It's those kind of teams that will have... Just basically, like, it's pretty much one extra game against those teams, which is fine. I mean, it's like, it will be consistent, and like I said, at the home away for the other teams, it will be different every year, so it doesn't matter that much. It's like pretty much one game overall in the whole standings. Anyways, our next game is against the Rockies. Um, we got Suarez against Lee Freeland. Um, I did, after the last game, I got, like, really disgusted and mad. So I wanted to make a roster change. So, on our roster changes, I released Luis Ortiz because I had to put him on waivers because he was on my 40-man roster. He was a 47 old, uh, he was not a 47 year old, but a 47 rated um, player um, on our single A team that honestly was never going to make the big club. So I just basically had no problem putting him on outright ravers. Um, uh, we basically brought up Nick Hall from Double A Reading. Um, Nick Hall was basically had like a 2.3 ERA in the minor leagues. And I felt that he had a chance to actually, like, do something good. I sent uh, Gregory Soto from, from basically he was a free agent that we signed. I sent him down to AAA. And we sent um, Eric Ullman from AAA to AA. Um, basically, Soto just had a 7.2 ERA. Um, he hasn't been, like, great for us when I've, pitched with him, so I just figured just give him some time in the minors. He, he's on a uh, he's on a two way contract, so we can like pretty much we had options to do that with him. Um, I mean, he might get mad and stuff, but I just don't really care. And so I did that. And I really wanted to give Nick Hall a shot, but at the same time. As you can see here, I can use Nick Hall and have him pitch. And I have Christopher Sanchez still up in the still up here, but he's going to be backing him up in case he has a bad outing. Now you can see, you can look at his stuff. He's a 73 overall, 69 fielding, which is like really good defensively. Um, has some problems with control, has decent velocity, not like what's called crazy velocity, um, good stamina, his home runs, he'll give up some homers, um, and he'll give up some hits, but his other numbers aren't too bad, I just really like it, I love his break, um, so you can see here, Christopher Sanchez had a lot more break, but a lot less fielding, 
Um, his hit, hit per nine wasn't as good. It's like, so, and his, his stamina was a little bit better, and he had more velocity. But I'd just rather go with Nick Hall in this circumstance. So, that's, just, that's only gives you mental beast status. But he's really on the cheap. I think he, get, he should get a pay raise and stuff on this. And he's only 19 years old. I figure it's, it's worth it to give him his time. Um, so let's play our next game with Torres on the hill. I hope everybody is having a fine day today. Um, greatest part is most of our players are, we're all pretty much 100%, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to, I'm going to basically put bomb. Have him clean up. I think that's a good idea. So, but basically do that. And go from there. Now from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado. The start of the weekend is upon us. It's Friday evening baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And pitching in this game, Kyle Freeland. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep tonight, a good yeah. tempo, don't give hitters the time to adjust or think. Play. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Trey Turner in the box here lets that one go for a ball. There's a strike. Next pitch inside and a count to an one. That to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Eighth in the National League at RBIs. And a ground ball to first. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Batting third. The designated hitter. Bryce. Two outs, Harper. base is empty. Here's Bryce Harper, the National League leader and runs batted in this year. Well struck, right field. Booyah! Bryce Harper goes deep. His 19th home run of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. hitter gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it and now it's Alec Bohm next pitch has popped up he's got it and that'll end the inning but they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot it's an early one nothing lead it's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Coors Field. And on the hill, the lefty, Ranger Suarez. What do we need to know here? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. Here comes a pitch. 
And a foul ball. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Got him! Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Great read off the bat by the second baseman. He took a perfect angle to get to this ball, knowing that he was going to have to dive to cut it off. Gets up and completes the play from the outfield grass. What a great job of picking up his pitcher. Charlie Blackman stands in here, takes ball one low. And that's in there at the knees. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Next offering is in for a strike. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. Gathers and throws to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. CJ Crone. And here is CJ Crone. That's a little bit low. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Fooled on that pitch. Got a little anxious. And now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. And here it comes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in Denver, second inning, set to go. And here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one missing inside. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Bryant makes the play. Two down. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So two down. Now it's the power speed combo. Bryson stop. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. Castellanos leads off first with two down to the inning. On the ground right side. Sends it to first, third out. One left for Philadelphia, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's Chris Bryant now. No left field. The wind of the pitch. Late swing, fouled off. The 0 1. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first and quickly one away in the second. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. 
Next nope, pitch downstairs. Ball. ball one. Swing and a miss. Nice ball, changeup. The 1-1. One, one. Ball, that's out. Foul ball there. And now the lefty battling here as he fouls it away. Next offering is downstairs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One down, base is empty. And there's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Randall Gritchick now. And that's in there for strike one. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. And in one hops the wall. Rodgers, rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and the Rockies tie it up. It's 1-1. He was all over that one. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now it's Elias Diaz. Diaz checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. He did not go around. One out, and a runner at second. Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. And that's in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Next offering is foul back. The 2 2. And now the count filled up three and two. Runner at second here, one gone. Struck him out looking. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Runner leads away at second. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Bangs off the wall. The throw in. He's in safely at second as a run scores. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. That one's in there, 0-1. McMahon at second with two down. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss, and that is that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Rockies two and the Phillies one. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Dalton Guthrie. The pitch. There's a line drive to left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Trey Turner now. And that one almost got him. Turner hitting leadoff in today's game. 
and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and puts the squeeze on that one. And a couple of quick outs. Kyle Schwarber now, now at the plate, grounded out Kyle his first time. Schwarber. That misses, and that's ball one. Schwarber, an all-star a season ago, 30 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. Ground ball, left side, and that squirts through. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in, and he's in at second with a two-out double. Just found a way to slot that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And it's second here with two away. So here's the Phillies DH. Bryce Harper, one for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. That one misses. Ball one. Harper, in his 12th season, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's put together some good swings lately with five home runs in his last 10 games. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Man, it's second. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Bottom of the inning, and now the DH, Yonathan Daza. Suarez back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Daza measures six feet two inches, 205 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. Gets down, base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today, so impressed with his ability to let the ball travel go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So in now for Colorado, C.J. Crone. In there for strike one. Daza, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Line drive, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything. Double steal. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. The pitch. Good eye right there. One ball, two strikes. And now the count is even. It's a good take. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with the runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Next for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. Going one. All one's the count. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Struck him out swinging. 
Some high cheese for strike three. Two left for Colorado. They lead it 2 1. Back here at Coors Field, out of the fourth. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Alec Bohm and a pitch. Misses off the inside, and that's ball one. And that's outside. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. He's there, he's got it. Then there's one down. JT Real Muto steps in. Come back her to the mound. The first base is number 17. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch, and he just misses. Check swing, no appeal. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Booyah! He blasts one out to center, and we're all square. It's 2-2. pretty dangerous when you fall behind in the count 2-0. You've still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there. And the hitter did a nice job of turning that pitch around, not missing it in a hitter's count. So two away with nobody on. And here is Nick Castellanos. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Gritchick makes the grab, and that'll do it. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're watching Major League. And welcome back. John Chabby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Randall Gritchick. First pitch doesn't find the zone. But all these Rockies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Next offering misses, two and one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Swing and a miss struck him out. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. Hey. That one's in there. Strike one. All one's the count. And the 2 Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Bouncer to Hoskins. He takes it on his own. Already two gone here in the home fourth. 
Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. Good no eye in that spot. In there. And so now one and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Score remains 2-2. Two, two. Back here in Denver, we go to the top of the fifth. And the batter now, Bryson Stock. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a ball popped up. And that'll get down for a hit. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Gritchick tracks it down for the out. Here's Trey Turner. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. in there and that is strike one this is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much you got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first it's going to be tough to get two. Oh, that got him i think he kind of leaned into that one now that first and second one out kyle, kyle schwarber oh. stands in for the phillies and there's the strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Now just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so... I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's Harper now. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Ball one, no strikes. Line to right, and this one could be extra bases. One runs in, another comes in to score. Here comes Schwarber around third. The relay throw, and he's in safely at third as three runs come in. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Kyle Freeland will depart, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. On the mound now, Jose Ureña. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Jose Ureña. One down, runner at third. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. It's softly on the ground to third. Sends it across the first. Out number two, and another run comes in. And now it is JT Real Muto. That's to third. Gets it to first. Inning over. Although plenty of damage done. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies six and the Rockies two. 
back here at the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the shortstop, the shortstop. Ezekiel Tovar. Ezekiel. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Bounce to third. Whips it to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. No Back to the top of the lineup, Yonathan Daza digging in for the Rockies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Here's the 0-2. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And a foul ball. The 0-2. Daza started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he held back, according to Larry Bullard. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. On the ground, right side. The throw to first. It's a 1-2-3 inning for the Rockies. Rockies are down quietly. They still trail it here. It's 6-2. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. Hoskins measures six feet, four inches. 30 years old now. And he was a fifth-round pick back in 2014. Well, these Phillies doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Got him swinging. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Now this is in the air down the line. And that is a foul ball. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. And he, he dives, but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a play, and they don't get the out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. This is Bryson Stott. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks deals. Two balls, one pitch. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. Fires over to Crone. Close play against the speedy runner. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Dalton Guthrie. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. And they get the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Back here at Coors Field, bottom of the sixth inning. So in now for Colorado, C.J. Crone. New pitcher on now, Andrew Bellotti. Big now, swing and miss four, stuff right here, Boog. Averaging Number more than one strikeout per inning Andrew this season. So far, he's Bilotti. been pretty electric. The pitch. Bellotti, 6-1 righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning, and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Bryant, batting with one down, takes a strike. That's to third. Boom. Jump throw. Awesome play there. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. Rogers. To the right side. Tosses to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Trey Turner at the plate. Yeah, the right hander back to work. There's a strike. They only say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. Ball one there. Activity in the bullpen. Brent Suter, the left hander, up and throwing. Here's a one to one. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Well, he didn't miss by much right there, but it was just enough Kyle to clip him on the way in. Schwarber. Now the batter now, Kyle Schwarber. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. And now here is Harper. Drove in three last time off and another chance to put something on the board here. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And the first offering is not close. Turner at second. Schwarber on at first with nobody out. In the air, left side. Bryant makes the grab one away. Now, that now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Alec, Alec Bohm. Bohm. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. Booyah! With one swing, he quiets the crowd. His second of the year, and they add on. It's 9-2. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Denelson Lamette. And something to be aware of, the long ball has been a little bit of a problem for him this year. One out, base is empty. Here's the Phillies catcher, JT Real Muto. That one's in there, 0 1. Slapped foul. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. They go back to back. And they boost their lead. It's 10 to 2. Back to back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And now for the Phillies, Reese Hoskins. That misses the zone, and it's 1 0. And that one is lifted in the air. 
Blackman snags it for the second out. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And now an eight-run lead at 10-2. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Denver, Leading set off. for the last Denver half of the Rockies. seventh. So in now the for Colorado, Denver. Randall Gritchen. Gritchen. And he deals. Swing and a miss. One Strike count. one. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Schwarber fires it in quickly, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. So, man aboard, and now the catcher comes up to him. Elias oh. Diaz. First offering, misses the mark. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. His righty-lefty splits there. Base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on, and nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now, Ezekiel Tovar. It's the slider in there for a strike. First and second here, no outs. The next pitch misses. One and one. Broken bat, roller to first. Throw off line, he's safe. And a nice job there to keep him from getting away. And next is the designated hitter, Yonathan Daza. And that one hit to first. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. In there safely. It's 10-4. Two on with one out. Here's Chuck Nasty. That's in there. That's strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing oh right now, God. not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some Whoa, adjustments to make. Next pitch is outside, and now it's even one and one. And That's downstairs. Cool. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Throws to first. Crone retired. What a play to end the inning. So two runs on three hits, one error, but two are left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies 10 and the Rockies 4. Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Bryson Stott. The wind of the pitch. In the air to left, down the line. Bryan on a dead sprint. Here comes the 0-1. On the ground to third. On to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Dalton Guthrie. Popped up. Rogers hauls it in, and there's two away. Here's Turner now. Line to left, squeezes it, and that ends the inning. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant, and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. 
Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Righty delivers. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Got him looking. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. In there for strike one. There's the strike. Well, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is no, more for that Better horizontal field. movement. But right. most of the good ones have both hey, vertical perfect. depth and that horizontal movement. And that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. The other way. And foul ball. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Now around second, going for third. And his third hit of the game is a triple. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Absolutely smoked the baseball. It just jumped off the lumber. And when you're able to find a gap like that, boo, you're even looking for a triple. Stepping in, Elias Diaz. This one in the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Called strike right there. Two outs with a runner at third. Next offering is down low. Two balls, one strike. That misses off the outside edge. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. Full count. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. So one left for Colorado, and that is not what they needed. Down 10 4. Welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Lamette back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Lamette, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Now 1-1. One one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Right side, hard hit. Rogers throws the first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Bryce Harper to the plate. Pitch misses. 1 and 0. Oh. Next pitch misses. And now 2 and 0. Oh. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. Here's Harper, the count two and one. And another ball. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. He'll touch them all. Home run number 20 on the year, and they add a run. It's 11-4. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Justin Lawrence. He's been so good against lefties. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. And that's outside. Yeah. 
bounced up the middle. Lays out. He's got it. On the money. Nice play. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. In there, and it's 0-1. And that's too high. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Brent Suter, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Right-handed reliever. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. Back after this. And welcome back. Now it's going to be Ryan McMahon. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Lewis Head. Compared to Number some days, 50. this is a pretty low leverage Lewis. appearance for him, so yeah. he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep oh, yourself left. sharp and attack the strike zone. Left hand batter waits. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Boom. Makes the grab one down. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. 0-2 now. Fights it off, you'll see another. Next one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Next pitch is popped up. Hoskins makes the play. Out number two. Ball's just not carrying the first tonight. <laughs> now you would actually say that to your teammate in the dugout. No, I'm not that cruel. But someone would say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before. And there's a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Now it's Charlie Blackman. And that's in there for strike one. And a swing and a miss. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies take game one of the series on the road. When you win by seven runs, it's a real encouraging game all the way around. The hitters feel good about what they did in this one, but the pitchers also know that if they get into a little bit of a jam, they know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. Final score in this one, 11-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. So we did a really, really good job in this game. Our offense did really well. Our pitching did really well. It was overall a good, really good experience. So it was like really strong. Um, we got to the starting pitcher and then hammered the bullpen. So it's really good to see. So until next time, this is David B69. And I'm out. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies, 11 runs, 12 hits, one error, they left three men on base. For the Rockies, four runs on nine hits, no errors, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please 
drive home safely.